My name is Lisa. I'm a stay-at-home mom living with my husband, Troy, and my parents. Troy is what you might call a house husband, and he gets along well with my parents. My parents like Troy's easygoing personality, and we all live together peacefully. Oh, Troy, did you do the cleaning? Oh, was it noisy? Sorry. I had some free time and nothing else to do. Oh, Troy, you should relax on your day off. Troy, you've been kind since you started living with us. Thank you for everything. Oh, no, it's nothing. I just can't sit still, haha. Huh? Our home was always like this, spending peaceful times together. However, none of us imagined that this happiness would suddenly come to an end. It happened one day, a few months later. Hello, Troy. My dad has collapsed. What? Your dad? Can't you come home right now? I need you here. I'm at work right now, so I can't. Sorry, Lisa, but you'll have to handle it. Even after hearing about my dad, Troy remained calm, or rather, he seemed somewhat indifferent. I expected him to be as frantic as I was, so his attitude made me sad. At that time, my mother and I rushed to the hospital, but my dad passed away. Why did this happen so suddenly? He was so full of life this morning. Maybe he overworked himself for our family. Dad. Are you the wife and daughter? I'm sorry, but the doctor needs to speak with you over there. Even after hearing the doctor's explanation, I couldn't grasp it at all, and everything seemed dark before my eyes. A little while later, I contacted Troy, but he didn't come to the hospital, citing work as the reason. That night. I'm home. Mom, Dad, come on in. Welcome back. Wait, your parents. Troy told us. Your father. Passed away, didn't he? We wanted to come immediately, but we were out of the prefecture for work. Oh, no. Thank you so much for coming. Lisa, are you alright? If there's anything I can do, please let me know. I'm worried about your mother too. I hope time will help heal her. Troy returned home with his parents. Hearing that they came because Troy told them about my father made me feel a bit reassured. However, that feeling of relief was short-lived. I'm sorry to bring this up at a time like this, but there's something we need to take care of. That's right. That's why we came together. Can we talk? Something to take care of. You'll understand once you hear it. Let's talk. How is your mother? Oh, she's feeling unwell from the shock. She's already gone to bed for the night. When Troy and his parents heard my words, they exchanged glances as if signaling each other. Were they going to discuss the funeral arrangements? Or did they have some opinion about Troy being a house husband? As I was pondering what the conversation could be about. Lisa, actually, we've decided to sell this house and buy a two-family home. Wait, did I just hear you say this house? Yes, that's what I said. We're going to live with my parents in the new two-family home. I'm sorry, I don't understand. We're telling you to move out because we're going to live with my parents. What? I can't believe you're saying this. Actually, before he passed, your father entrusted me with the company and the house. He and I had a talk and I was adopted by him. What? Adoption? When did this happen? Oh yes, we also have your father's will. A will? Why does Troy have it, and the adoption? Lisa, I know this is a tough time to discuss this, but it's important. So, let's open the will together now. Now? But, my mother isn't in any state to discuss this today. Well, too bad, we're opening it now. Wait, Troy. Look, it says here that neither you nor your mother will inherit anything. Oh, just as your father told Troy. Now we can build a lovely two-family mansion. I'm so happy. This can't be. Oh, by the way, a demolition crew is coming tomorrow to give an estimate for tearing down this house. Demolition? Wait, this is all happening so fast. So, make sure you're out of the house by tomorrow morning. Just moments ago, I was grieving over my father's death, but now all I feel is anger. I was infuriated by Troy and his parents' utterly insensitive and inconsiderate behavior. After they left the house. Lisa, can I talk to you for a moment? Mom. Are you okay? Actually, just now, Troy and... I know. I heard the conversation. Mom. Here. This is a letter your father entrusted to me before he passed. Please read it. Reading the letter my mother gave me, 
I was surprised but understood my father's intentions. Accepting everything, I divorced Troy and moved out of the house with my mother. Four months later. One day, while living a peaceful life with my mother, I received a phone call from Troy. Lisa. I've just received a massive bill for debt. What is going on? You must know, right? Explain it to me. It's simple. My father took out a loan to run the company. But he passed away suddenly, so the debt collection came to you. It's just that simple. What? I have nothing to do with this. Why should I pay for your father's debt? If anyone should pay, it should be you and your mother. Troy, you are very much involved. You inherited my father's estate. The will said I was to inherit various things. I just accepted it. I wasn't told about any debt. Do you think that excuse will work? Inheritance means taking on all assets, including debts. It's your obligation to repay my father's debt. No way. This amount is impossible to pay. Wait, since you and your mother also have inheritance rights, you should help pay it too. Oh? My mother and I renounced the inheritance. So all the debt repayment falls on you. What? Then I'll renounce it too. I need to do the paperwork right away. Too bad. You can only renounce the inheritance within three months. So it's already too late. What do you mean too late? It means exactly what it sounds like. You must be kidding me. Why should I pay someone else's debt? Your family if you were adopted, right? Did you trick me? If you know something, tell me. After you and your parents left the day the will was opened, my mother showed me the letter my father wrote before he passed away. A letter. Thanks to that, everything turned out exactly as my father planned. So, thank you very much. You're kidding me. Come to my place right now. Got it. After hanging up the phone, my mother and I headed to my in-law's house. When we were shown into the living room, Troy was already looking extremely frustrated. What's this about your father's letter? He and I always got along, there's no way he'd hide something from me. That was just on the surface. My husband saw right through your plans, Troy. Saw through. I didn't do anything. Not only did my father know you wanted to take all our assets for yourself, but he also knew you were trying to take over the company. What are you talking about? I never. And it wasn't just that. You planned to marry your affair partner after divorcing me, didn't you? Affair? What are you talking about? Was your father too busy to think straight? Don't you dare speak ill of my father. We have evidence, that's why I'm saying this. Here are the photos. With these, you can admit to your infidelity. What the? Who the hell are you? And why are you butting in? He's not just anyone. This is Noah, the lawyer who came with me. A lawyer? Why would you bring a lawyer? These photos were taken by a detective my father hired to investigate your affair. My husband took steps to protect Lisa and me in advance. I will never forgive you. I met with her father before he passed, and I know what kind of person he was. What? Are you going to say he was a wonderful man or something? I'm here to inform you that we are filing for divorce and seeking alimony. My mother and I, determined to resolve everything thoroughly, were accompanied by our lawyer, Noah. Troy's plans for the inheritance and his affair were exposed. On top of that, he now had to deal with a massive debt. Alimony? Are you kidding me? You're the one who's joking. I'm serious. Your father was a scumbag for leaving me with debt instead of money. I could say the same about you and your parents. My father was not someone who could be insulted by someone as vile as you. Then pay me for all the time I was nice to you. There must be some inheritance left. You keep spouting nonsense. Keep talking if you want. You will pay both the alimony and the debt in full. Fine. I'll just sell your family home as planned. Then why are you wasting time talking to us here? Go to that house. Oh right, today was the day of the demolition, wasn't it? Oh dear, the work must have started by now. Hey Troy, I made sure to tell them to do a thorough job on the demolition. Oh yes, there were so many big machines coming in. Wait, Mom, Dad. Call them right now and stop the demolition. What are you talking about, Troy? We're getting a new mansion. Why are you so upset? Because if the house is gone, we can't sell it. What do you mean? The inheritance includes a massive debt. What? Then we need to renounce the inheritance immediately. 
It's too late. The three-month window has passed. What the hell is going on here? Where did the inheritance Troy was supposed to get go? Hearing Troy's explanation, his parents finally realized the massive debt involved. Expecting to become rich and live in a mansion, they were furious. Seeing this, my mother and I were dismayed, realizing they were obsessed with money. You can be angry all you want, but Troy chose to inherit, didn't he? What did you say? You were all so happy when you opened the will. And who was it that kicked Lisa and me out of the house? Well, when a CEO dies and they's a will, anyone would expect a big inheritance, wouldn't they? Exactly. And since Troy was close to him, it's only natural to think that. Maybe if you're just thinking about the inheritance. But Troy, you, and your husband all discussed money the day my father died, didn't you? Talking about money on the night of his death. But my husband understood how ugly your thoughts were. You're just saying that in hindsight. If I had known about the debt, I would have renounced the inheritance. And then you two would have lost everything and gained nothing. In the end, we gained nothing anyway. Ha ha. But Troy didn't renounce the inheritance. That's why you're panicking and acting like a fool now. Oh my, calling someone a fool is quite rude, don't you think? Do you have time to be making such remarks? You seem pretty confident. Who are you? I'm Noah, the lawyer hired by Lisa and her mother. How dare you hire a lawyer? You're quite audacious. Hey, lawyer, isn't there something you can do about missing the three-month deadline for renouncing the inheritance? Isn't there some way around it? Well, it's true that sometimes renunciations are accepted even after three months, but that's usually when the person truly had no idea about the inheritance. In your case, since you knew about the inheritance, it's not going to work. Hearing Noah's words, Troy and his parents looked disappointed, but... Then, I'll just say I didn't know I could inherit because I was a house husband. Oh my, Troy, you're so clever. Let's go with that plan. With that approach, we won't have to pay the debt. Just so you know, I recorded this conversation. What? Even if you claim ignorance, it would be dismissed as a bad act. And as a lawyer, hearing that firsthand, it's completely impossible. In the end, you gain nothing from this. It's a shame your plans to live in luxury fell apart. Come on, Lisa. Sure, I had an affair, but it was just a fling. We were once a family. Let's try again. What are you talking about? Actually, we were planning to live with you in the two-family house. Spare me the lies. Troy and I are already divorced. We're not family anymore. How can you say that? We're bending over backwards here. Yes, we're disappointed we're not getting the inheritance. As compensation, Lisa, you should work to make up for it for the rest of your life. Enough. How long do you plan to rely on someone else's money? Try, you and your parents. Stop disgracing yourselves any further. Troy and his parents were very surprised to hear my usually mild-mannered mother raise her voice. Awakened by her stern tone, the three of them. Lisa, I admit I was wrong and sincerely apologize. Can't you forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. It's all your own fault, Troy. My mother and I will be happily living in the house my father left in her name. A house in your mother's name. Oh, and don't forget the alimony for the affair. Lisa, Mrs. Mother's last name. We admit we were wrong. Just let us have that house, please. There's nothing to let you have. The demolition has already started, hasn't it? That's right. Which means, we can't sell that house. Not only will you get nothing, but you'll also lose money on the demolition costs. No way! Lisa, I don't care about the inheritance anymore. Let's get back together. I won't allow my daughter to remarry someone like you. If this continues, my family will be buried in debt. You already are. You happily accepted the inheritance, so good luck with that. Let's go, Mom. I'll send the official documents later, so make sure you pay up. Lisa, don't leave me, please. We're strangers now, so don't talk to me so familiarly. Goodbye. Troy and his parents were stunned, realizing they were now burdened with debt. They sold their house to pay it off, but it barely made a dent. The debt was enormous, taken out to run the company. If Troy keeps paying, he might still be repaying it past the age of 70. By then, his parents might not be around, leaving Troy to handle it alone. 
Thus, Troy and his parents lost everything due to their greed and were condemned to a miserable life of debt repayment. As for me. So, I've confirmed the alimony payment has been received. Thank you very much. It's thanks to your father for leaving Noah's business card with the letter. I'm sure this was all part of my father's plan. Well, I think your father didn't intend to cause you and your mother so much sorrow. So, make sure you both live each day with a smile for his sake too. Hearing Noah's words, my mother and I decided to show our smiles to my father every day. Perhaps my father had not only kept things about Troy but also his illness hidden. Even so, when we last spoke, he had the same gentle smile as always. But, thinking about it, it must have been even sadder for him to leave us behind. Realizing this, I knew we couldn't keep crying forever. One day, my mother and I will reunite with him when our time comes. Until then, we want to have many joyful stories to share. To make sure our lives are filled with smiles every day, for his sake as well. Thank you for always protecting us, Dad. We love you so much. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.